Today's video, I will discuss concept of efficiency based model. This, this is examination ask questions and for course code MEC 101 title is a macroeconomics analysis. It is also, it was also asked in MEC 108 title economics of social sector and environment carry 12 marks igno ma economics for first year for course code MEC 101 and second year course code MEC 108 and before moving ahead in this video if you come first time at my channel Please subscribe and press bell icon for all notifications so that you can get my latest video notification easily. <coughs> now let us start efficiency based model. The, the efficiency based model term was first time used by Alfred Marshall that is Professor Marshall. Okay, and according to efficiency based theory, according to Marshallian efficiency based theory, a form should pay a form pay different base to worker for different level of efficiency. A form pay different wages to workers for different level of efficiency here uh, <coughs> efficiency based model that is the it is the efficiency base per unit of labor according to modern version of efficiency based model higher wage is associated with higher level of productivity that is higher level of efficiency a form should pay the wages to worker which is above the market clearing base. Uh, what is now what is the market clearing base? It is a determined demand curve and interaction of demand curve for labor and supply curve for labor. Okay, you can see DD demand curve for labor, SS supply curve of labor, and the base is determined here. It is the equilibrium base that is the market clearing base and amount of employment of labor. If any form pay above the equilibrium base W1. Here W1 is the efficiency base. Okay, according, according to efficiency base model, a form pay W1 base to worker, which is the above the market clearing base. This is the market clearing base. And <clears throat> the concept of efficiency base hypothesis is associated with extra welfare in health sector okay if a worker is a paid above the market clearing base one side it lead to uh, enhancement in productivity that is efficiency of worker uh, on the other side it also lead reduction in cost of production when Base is a paid above the market clearing. There are two direct benefits we can get. First, it increases, enhances the productivity that is efficiency of labor and it also um, lead to reduction in cost of production that is consumer would be able to get better quality product at minimum cost it maximizes consumer surplus paul krugman paul krugman krugman explain how efficiency based model work in the real sector 
and uh, he <coughs> the labor productivity is uh, denoted by ew that is the efficiency of labor is uh, denoted by ew here efficiency is the function of wages that is higher wage is uh, associated with the higher level of efficiency if you take the derivative with respect to w is always greater than zero the sale of the form is uh, denoted by v this is v is indicating the sale of form which is the function of amount of employment of labor and efficiency and we know that profit is differences between tr and tc tr minus tc t tr equal to v is sale v is the function of le tc wages time amount of labor okay here total differential total derivative and function of function rule knowledge are expected to understand this sum okay Ex expression first we need to taking the total differential of both side using function of a function rule that is chan rule dp del v del le times d l e l times d w now d p equal to del v here we have taken total differential using the chan rule v is direct function of l e okay now l del e here l is constant it, it uh, indicating the amount of labor implied and here l l e l d e and l d w in order to have total derivative we need to multiply um, we need to divide both side by d w d w here d w d w l l cancel out now final equation we have d p by d w equal to d v by del e del v del e d e d w and here l there are four term in this equation expression okay and we are going to explain one by one and first use first equation from right side this equation dv by de indicating higher efficiency is associated with higher level of higher level of sale of a form it must be positive first order derivative is positive second <coughs> de by dw indicating de by dw here it indicating implying higher level of wage is associated with higher level of efficiency that is the productivity of labor which must be greater than zero first order derivative greater than zero it implying that there is a direct and positive relationship between efficiency of labor and higher uh, higher wages and third dp by dw here higher level of wages wages which is the above the market clearing wages is a always associated with the higher level of profit okay and final l l is indicating the amount of labor implied it give direct message to firm to pay uh, wages to worker which is which must be above the market clearing base <clears throat> there are two 
benefit one side it increases efficiency that is the productivity of labor and another side it also indicating if efficiency is increases directly it increases the sale of firm if sale of firm is increases it automatically the profit of firm will go up this is the complete video on efficiency based model i hope you must got the concept i discuss under this video and once again i tell you if you come first step at my channel please subscribe and press bell icon for all notifications so that you can get my latest video notification easily and never forget to leave comment what kinds of video would you expect from my channel and share this video as much as you can and uh, online recording online live and recording classes is uh, available along with the notes for course code mec 108107 and second year elective m e c e o 004 financial institution and market and three courses are also available for first year ig do ma economics mec 1 3 and 205 thanks for watching my video till till it till end